हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द इन न्यू सीरीज ऑफ दृष्टि आई एस आई एम ऋतु एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एन इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ जोग्राफी विच इज द फुजीवारा इफेक्ट एंड यू ऑल नो दैट दिस टॉपिक इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम जी एस वन परस्पेक्टिव सो वॉट इज फुजीवारा सो फुजीवारा इज अ काइंड ऑफ साइक्लोन एंड इट इज एसोसिएटेड विद अ साइक्लोन एंड साइक्लोन्स आर नेचुरल डिजास्टर बट इन टूडेज वर्ल्ड कैन वी डिस्कस दैट साइक्लोन्स आर नेचुरल डिजास्टर और इट इज नॉट ह्यूमन मेड सो अर्थक्वेक्स avalanches landslides floods droughts they all are natural disasters but due to climatic condition they all have become the human disaster so moving to the points of discussion part first of all we are going to discuss the news and its relevant and then we are going to discuss what are the cyclones a brief introduction about the cyclones and then we are going to discuss what is fujiwara effect after that we are going to discuss what are the damages associated with the fujiwara effect and then we are going to discuss relation with today's climatic condition it means what is the relationship between fujiwara effect and today's climatic condition and then we are going to discuss about the practice question for prelims and mains so moving to the next part so what is next part so next part is the news so what happened in the west coast of the united states the country has witnessed a hurricane cyclone or typhoon you can call anything in your language and what is the name of the typhoon so the name of the typhoon is hilary and similarly the california has also witnessed such kind of the things and among all these storms there were the two kinds of the storms which dance together and the phenomenon is called as fujiwara effect and that's why we are discussing this topic so moving to the next slide so next slide is about what is cyclone so first of all we are going to discuss that from where this word has been coined so this word has been coined from the greek word which means cyclos and it has been taken from the coil of the snake and who has coined this term so henry peddington has coined this term and what are the cyclones so cyclones are the atmospheric disturbances around a low pressure area and which create disruptive air circulation and in the northern hemisphere they create anti clock circulation and in the southern hemisphere they create clockwise circulation so this is the difference between northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere so moving to the next slide so next slide is about that what are the different names of cyclones in different region so in caribbean sea they are called as hurricanes in china sea they are called as typhoons in indian ocean they are called as tropical cyclones in japan they are called as typhoon in northern australia they are called as willy willies in philippines they are called as baguio and in usa they are called as tornados so recently we have seen that tokte has been arrived in india so it is an example of tropical cyclone so in the comment section you have to answer that tokte has hitted which part of the country it means which states of the country so moving to the next slide so next slide is about what is fujiwara effect so we have already discussed that you know fujiwara effect is associated with a cyclone so what happened that when two cyclones swing in the same direction and they meet at a common point and they have a intense dance kind of condition so this effect is called as fujiwara effect so this is a brief introduction about fujiwara effect so moving to the next slide so next slide is about what are the damages associated with the fujiwara effect so we don't have much damages like earthquakes landslides flood so but definitely we have damages associated with the fujiwara effect so in the rare circumstances what happen that when two strong storms collide together then they create mega storm or mega cyclone so that becomes destructive in nature and after that we can see that in march 2023 california has witnessed such kind of disruptions and in terms of disruption we have seen that trees were uprooted the glasses of windows were broken and in south korea also in 2017 there were two typhoons which name is hilary and irwin so what happened that they had drowned seven people and seven people have killed because of these kind of the fujiwara effect so moving to the next slide so next slide is about relation with today's climatic condition so what is the relationship between today's climatic condition with fujiwara effect so with the advent of fujiwara effect the temperature becomes warm and the warm temperature creates more circumstances for the strong winds and the strong cyclones so these things are very correlational in nature it means that warm temperature create strong cyclone and strong cyclones create much disruption so this is the correlation kind of thing and what are the other problems we have with this thing 
So other problems we can see that in Taiwan in past 40 years there is an increase of 35 percent of the typhoons and it has been increased from 0.4 degree Celsius to 0.7 degree Celsius and because of the rising sea temperature we can see such kind of effect. So moving to the prelims question part. So what is the question? In the USA cyclones are known as so your options are hurricanes, typhoons, typhoon, tornadoes. So you have to answer this in the comment section. Moving to the next slide. So next slide is about the practice question for mains. So cyclones have become usual phenomenon in today's weather system. Examine. So first of all what you have to do? You have to define the cyclone. So we already have discussed that cyclone has been derived from the Greek word cyclos which has been taken from the coil of the snake. And who had coined this term? You can answer this in the intro part. Coming to the main part of the question, they are asking the causes. So, we all know that climate change is the biggest factor in the advent of the cyclone. And why cyclones are becoming the usual phenomenon? Because of the global warming, rising sea temperature, ocean wind, ocean temperature, high winds. So, these all factors are responsible for the usual phenomenon of cyclone and why they are increasing in numbers, why they are touching Arabian Sea again and again. So, these all are the common factors for all kind of the cyclones. I hope you like this lecture. If you have any questions related to this lecture, kindly ask in the comment section. The PDF of this session is available on Telegram. Thank you.